in a world where kayfabe was protected, how would the rise of UFC ha- have affected the business? Would guys have switched to worked MMA? Or do you think traditional pro wrestling could still work as long as more attention was paid to the basics? Um, A lot of each. And I mean, you know, once again, we always had fucking boxing. Um, MMA would would be the same thing it would hurt because people would be seeing real fights, but the same thing would be said about it as well. They're under, under MMA rules. This is pro wrestling rules and blah, blah, blah. You would have seen a much more. I think that's another thing that I liked about ring of honor and thought was the future of, of anything to be taken seriously in this business. I didn't know that there was no future of anything to be taken seriously in this business was an MMA style influenced or MMA influenced style like uh, Davy Richards and Eddie Edwards and Roderick Strong were doing, and those guys mixed in with shit like a Jay Lethal, who's who's a grown man who is such a tremendous worker. He can do the good looking rough stuff, but he also is still able to fly and do pretty stuff, where it's just a high level of athleticism. And the Adam Coles and the, Kyle O'Reilly was, you know, he really. It, it, Kyle would have never been taken seriously for his look because he's sufficiently white and he ain't that big and he doesn't have a lot of muscular definition. But because of the UFC, the lighter weight class guys, Kyle is so serious about what he did and he trained in MMA and 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 it his shit looks so good and he didn't do fucking clown stuff. That and he's got that kind of as a heel, he had that baby face, but as a punk ass baby face. If he was a heel, you wouldn't slap him, right? So that you know that kind of crossover with those kind of guys, I think, would have definitely uh, taken off in a different universe. Uh, they would have always tried to find a way to make the wrestling business credible or to protect it. If in the world that kayfabe never died, so they would have gone in those directions and and probably some others that we don't know. But it it would just it would have been natural to do that. I know Smoky Mountain Wrestling was kind of a world unto itself, but did you have any concerns at all when in the early 90s, all of a sudden there were the UWFI pay-per-views, you know, shoot wrestling as they called it, this is real, and then of course the UFC? Um, Well, no, we actually, we remember we advertised the early UFC pay-per-views because Dan Severn, a guy that then we could bring in and have on our shows, who was the NWA champion, was winning the fucking, a pro wrestler was kicking the shit out of everybody else in the fucking supposed ultimate tournament, so why wouldn't we push that, right? Um, and, and secondly, nobody, I guarantee you, nobody in fucking gate city, Virginia was buying the UWFI pay-per-views. So our audience was pretty much, uh, secure from a lot of influence on that. And once again, with the, the wrestler that's beaten everybody of, of every other combat style is actually sometimes appearing on our shows and not the other guys. So we are kind of real that, that it, it, people didn't know and they didn't want to fucking dig in and find out. We only raised a goddamn generation of detective wrestling fans in, you know, in this century. 